observe the and hear all the, these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever, when thou doest that which is good and right and right in the sight of the Lord thy God. Observe and hear all these words which I command thee. Deuteronomy 12.28 To observe is to pay attention, to note. Captain Dictionary. His superpower. Notice or perceive something Notice. and register it as being significant. Yes. Thank you. Observe and hear, you know. Notice these things. Pay attention to these things. They are important. They're not just a thing. They're not just a thing. You know, hear these. Hear these words which I command thee, that it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. So, so maybe you're not concerned about yourself, but what about your children and their children and you know. Mm -hmm. People usually get a little more concerned about their children than themselves. Mm -hmm. you know, not always, but um, when thou uh, when thou doest that which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God. So, you know, pay attention to what what's what the words telling us here. Pay attention to that. Do what the word tells us to do. And it may just go well with us and, and our children. And, you know, I believe the Lord's been very beyond gracious to us. Amen. You know, beyond gracious. He's, he is a just and upright, almighty God. Yeah, you know, just, but, you know, we talk often on the importance of, you know, following the word the best we can. <clears throat> You know, and he hear, tells us here to observe and hear all these things which I command thee. That it may go well with thee and with thy children after thee forever. When thou doest that which is good and right. Not one or the other or this or that, but which is good and right in the sight of the Lord thy God. Not just good or not just right. Good and Both of them, yes. Thank you. Um, I did want to read from verse uh, chapter 13. I'm going to say this because it <clears throat> you can be good without being right. Mm -hmm. and you can be right without being good. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's pretty, pretty thought provoking. Good and right. And also observe and hear. Wow, those are yeah, words to live by. Let's move on. <laughs> they are. <clears throat> Observe and hear. That means I, that means so those actions you those are actions you have to take. They're not just something to say. Mm -hmm. You have to act on that instruction. You have to be doing something. Yep. Yep. Not just read your Bible, close it up, and and be done until next time. But, you know, living the Word. Living the word. Yes. Well, if you do do that, next time should be later that day. Well, yeah, yeah, right, right, right. But I meant for days later or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think the, the action or the observing, observing and hearing means that you have to put forth effort to see, to, to hear that which is being said, not just, you know, not just sound, because mm -hmm. we can all hear, but it doesn't mean we're all partaking in it. We can all, all listen, but it doesn't mean we're actually hearing what's being said. Observing, we can see, but are we really looking to see what are we supposed to be seeing? Is there something in here that is supposed to, you know, come before me? Right. And we can read, but are we letting it register? Right. You know, be doers and not just hearers of the word only, but be doers. Mm. Mm. Absolutely.
Wouldn't be important if it wasn't in here. Right? So let's try to do our best to observe and hear you know, what the Word is telling us. <clears throat> observe and hear. Um, and do good, what is good and right in the sight of the Lord. Right? Mm -hmm. Which is, the Lord sees everything, doesn't he? So that doesn't mean when we're all alone we can do stuff that's not good and right. Because he sees everything, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. So let's just, let's do our best. Okay. okay. All right. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today and thank you for your goodness, Lord. And Father, I do pray that you would truly help us to observe and to hear you know, what you're speaking to us father help us to follow your word accordingly lord jesus father i do pray that you would help us to do that which is good and right in your sight father uh, father i just pray that you would help us to live you know, according to your word lord so that you may be uplifted and glorified and magnified lord father, we give you the praise and honor in your most high name we pray amen